two months ago, Intel lit a beacon of hope for the AI community with the announcement of the ARC Pro B60 GPU and there was a lot of hype and anticipation around it. We also covered that announcement in multiple videos and we were quite enthusiastic too at that time. This card promised massive amount of VRAM, the one resource every AI developer and hobbyist is starved for. The community got excited as you can see in the comments on those videos but details were scarce. Now the story has a new crucial chapter. The graphic card company Sparkle has officially confirmed its lineup of Intel Arc Pro B60 cards making them the focal point of this long awaited release and the price which they have promised is quite attractive. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Today we are going to break down what Sparkle is offering and ask the most important question. Is this the affordable AI card we have all been desperately waiting for? So let's get started. The thing is that for years and years or maybe months in AI, the landscape has been dominated by one name and that is NVIDIA. If you want to run AI models efficiently, you are almost forced into their ecosystem. Their CUDA software platform is the industry standard and this monopoly has allowed them to command incredibly high prices for their high VRAM cards and this is providing you can access them. This has left students, researchers and enthusiasts on the sidelines unable to afford the tools needed to participate in the AI revolution. The announcement of a B60 with 48 GB of VRAM was a direct challenge two months ago to this status quo as you can see on this page. And now Sparkle is the one carrying that banner forward. They have detailed three models, a 24 GB version with a blower style cooler for workstation, a 24 GB passively cooled model for servers and the main event, a 48 GB dual GPU card and that is what I think is going to change the way we think about these GPUs. Now this 48 GB GPU is not really released uh, officially on their website but this is information which I have gathered from many sources on social media plus a few others so i'm quite confident this is quite close but still i have to make this disclaimer that it is to be confirmed but look at the price that is so so attract attractive and at the same time i totally understand that 500 us dollar is uh, still out of reach for many many consumers across the world but then if you look at um, the prices of laptop phones iphone and all that stuff that is way higher than this GPU card and still people all over the globe use those laptops and uh, iPhones and Android phones. So I think 500 US dollar for a 48 GB dual card, it's not that far off. And this 48 GB card is a potential game changer. But before we get carried away, let's look at these raw specifications. So if you look at this table, this outlines this key feature of dual GPU Arc Pro B60 based on the information from uh, various sources as I mentioned earlier. So look at the memory size. This is a headline feature and the number one reason for all the excitement. 48 GB of VRAM is massive. It allows you to load and run large complex AI language models or vision models locally that would otherwise require expensive cloud GPU or top of the line multi thousand dollar NVIDIA cards. This democratize, democratizes access to powerful AI. GPU configuration with dual GPU is also good. This is not a single monolithic 48 GB chip. It's two separate 24 GB GPUs on a single circuit board. This is crucial to understand. It is designed for workloads that can be split between two processors, which is perfect for AI inference, but it won't behave like a single giant GPU for tasks like gaming or maybe some cases training of the models. 
The bandwidth for each GPU is 456 GB, GB per second, which is respectable and in the ballpark of a mid-range card like NVIDIA 4060 Ti. It's not setting any speed records, but it's more than adequate for feeding data to models that are primarily limited by VRAM capacity. Then here is the biggest catch. Well, 394 tops sounds like a lot. It comes from two GPUs. The performance of a single B60 chip is reportedly about half that of an NVIDIA 4060 in terms of raw AI processing power. This creates a clear trade-off. You get enormous VRAM for loading models, but the speed at which you get your answers will be slower than comparable NVIDIA cards. For LLMs, this is often an acceptable trade-off. For AI image or video generation, this lower compute power could be significant bottleneck. Now look at the PCI Express interface. Now this card uses a modern PCI 5 slot, but the 16 lanes are bifurcated or split into two x connections, one for each GPU on the board. They are two distinct addressable GPUs sharing one physical slot. Now if you look at the total board power, this is very reasonable power draw for a card offering this much memory, making it compatible with a wide range of existing workstation power supplies. So look, the Sparkle Arc B60 is a specialized graphic card or a tool. It sacrifices raw speed for colossal memory capacity at an aggressive price point, but its success hinges on two massive hurdles. First, availability. If you go through the data sheet uh, which they have shared, I have it somewhere here, there you go. Uh, and this is available on their website and I will drop the link to it in video's description. So you see, this is where I have got more most of my information. So first, the data sheet states availability in Q3, Q4, 2025. While there were hopes for a July release, it seems likely the first wave will go to business customer and server builders. The average person might not be able to buy one for their home setup for some time. Second and most importantly is the software problem. The AI world runs on Nvidia's CUDA. The B60 runs on Intel's One API. While One API is a capable platform, it lacks the vast ecosystem and out of the box support for CUDA. Will developers need to do extra work to get their models running? Will performance be crippled due to lack of software optimization? This is a fear that leads to community skepticism, while some wondering if this will be a repeat of promising hardware that ultimately fails due to a sort of weak software ecosystem, courtesy our friends here who have really created an amazing CUDA tool here. Anyway, so, well, I think in conclusion, the Sparkle Intel Arc Pro B60 is not a direct NVIDIA competitor across the board. It's not a 4090 killer. It's a VRAM savior, a card purpose built to solve the single biggest problem facing AI enthusiasts. It's a bold move. And if Intel and its partner can foster a stronger ecosystem or maybe do some portation like ZLuda, which we covered around it and make it widely available. It could genuinely change the game for affordable local AI development. We are now watching and waiting to see if this hopes, uh, if this hope becomes a reality and who knows it might. I also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. And you can find the link in video's description. Please like the video and share it. And if you haven't already, already subscribed, please do so as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.